Could you ladies do 360 for me? My backside's probably my best side. <laughs> Some great back shots right there. <laughs> my name is Joe. I'm gonna be blind dating five girls today based on their gym outfits. I am a fitness influencer and bodybuilder. As far as gym outfits go, I'd probably say less revealing. I like a little surprise. I feel like when they wear the, the booty shorts and they wear like the sports bras and everything, you could really see everything. There's nothing to be shocked of if you've already seen it all. I'm very excited to meet some new swole mates. Hopefully I could call them myself. Okay, lots of white shoes. I like the versatility of the Converse on the end. Contestant one, what's gonna be like your general routine in the gym? My name is Brianna. Five out of seven days I go to the gym. Lower body three times a week, upper body twice. Sounds pretty much same as me. Contestant number two. So my name is Caroline. I'm actually a yoga instructor. Uh, I mean, she's flexible, right? <laughs> I am. What do you like about flexible girls? Where does that come in handy? In the bedroom, for sure. I mean, there's that. Contestant number three, what is your name and what does your fitness week look like for you? My name is Abby. I usually go to the gym about six days a week. I'm also training to be a firefighter. Contestant number four. Um, my name is Lena. I'll start with shoulders and triceps, back and biceps, legs and glutes, and then I'll have an abs and cardio day. Kind of sounds like you're working more in your upper extremities rather than the lower. Any particular reason for that? I mean, I played volleyball in like high school, so I'm not really lacking in the bottom compartment. <laughs> I like that a lot, you know? That's, uh, <laughs> who doesn't like a big juicy bottom with uh, some nice legs oh. along with it, right? <laughs> okay. so, uh, contestant number five, what's your name? My name's Corey. I work out at the gym five days a week. My split is three lower bodies, two upper bodies. Contestant number one, if I was struggling on my last reps of Incline Smith Bench that I love so much, how would you go ahead and spot me? Try to give you like emotional support, you know, kind of saying, hey babe, you got this. <laughs> Have your water ready for you when you're done with your set. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like the whole emotional support base. Would you touch the bar? I wouldn't really want to touch the bar just because I know you can get it up there. You're a strong man. I know. I believe in you. Contestant number two. I would probably put my hands on you in a good way because my love language is physical touch. Where would you touch me? Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> we're in the gym, so I'm going to say maybe shoulders, maybe chest. So you like dudes with boobs on them. I like it. Sure. <laughs> Contestant number three. I think I will put a little ass in your face. Not completely like sit on it, but like just a little bit of motivation, you know? If you're gonna like show me a little bit of your behind, like you said, right? <laughs> like how is how is that gonna take place? Maybe I'd kind of like brush my ass against your leg or something and you know, just a little slight motivation. All right, all right, that's a good answer. Contestant four. Maybe like a reward system afterward, telling you that if you got it up, I'd get food for us, or we could smoke and get food and chill or something fun. Love that. I'm a big smoker myself. <laughs> so contestant number five. I don't. I think men should just know what they can handle. They shouldn't need much help from me. Like I'm a girl. What can I do? <laughs> when I'm at the gym, I'm kind of doing my own thing. So I would hope you would be doing the same. She knows that I should be able to get it up. Probably the best answer out of the five, I can't even lie. The first one in the elimination round is going to be contestant number three. Reason being is because I am not a big fan of, you know, when people are spotting me uh, to be kind of bothered with her saying, you know, put a little ass in my face to motivate me. Not a big fan of that personally. Uh, Abby, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm bummed. You're bummed? Yeah. Sorry. It probably would motivate me. Oh, you think? Yeah. I'm gonna send I'll you back, back behind that car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'd say she's my type. Oh. For sure. Okay. Yeah. No. He's not my type. What's more of your type then? Athletes. I don't like white guys. Gotcha. Oh. Just Hispanic, black men. Okay. I mean, she is. Gorgeous, don't get me wrong. There's always other fish in the sea. And plus, I'm not even her type anyway. I like the nails. <laughs> yeah. I like contestant number five's long legs. Thank you. Long legs. I mean, if you had them turn around, you know, maybe I could like give a little bit more, but. <laughs> could you ladies do 360 for me? Yeah, my backside's probably my best side. 
<laughs> okay, wow. Some great back shots right there. <laughs> Y'all work hard, I could tell. <laughs> Contestant number five, how are you gonna riz me in the gym? I wouldn't. I would just stare at you from afar. <laughs> I let men come to me. Ooh. Ooh. If I'm not honed in on like bettering myself, I'm not gonna have a great workout. She said a very valid answer, and I'd probably be too shy to talk to anyone too. Contestant number four, how would you riz me up in the gym? To be honest, I think that hitting on people at the gym is kind of an odd place to do that at just because I feel like it comes off as like really surface level. Maybe I'd ask like to work in with you or like how many sets you had. And if I thought you were really cute, maybe I'd ask for your number. I probably wouldn't talk to you a lot at the gym itself. Okay, all right. Contestant number too. Honestly, I usually don't approach people in the gym because I'm usually like looking sweaty, trying to get my workout on, but I would probably ask for some pointers because I have a lot to learn in the gym. I wouldn't ask you to spot me because I feel like that's kind of straightforward. See how we get along and then maybe from there be like, oh, like, can I have your number? I really have a lot to learn in the gym. I would like some more pointers. I like that answer. You know, ask for pointers. Contestant number one, how would you riz me at the gym? I'm kind of old fashioned, so I actually do really like meeting people in person rather than like online and social media. I think I would want to like approach it more in like a friend base first. Start initiating a conversation and see if you can like record me probably just trying to do a PR or something. See if I can get your Snapchat or like your number. Okay. Dang, ladies, I'll be honest. I really don't know who I want to eliminate here. I, lo I love all your answers. Love the outfits too. Wow. Yeah. Nails too. My goodness. And this is not based off of your answers. This probably has to be based off the uh, gym outfits maybe. I'm going to have to go probably with contestant number two. When I was looking at her nails, maybe I think they're a little too long. What? A little too long. Oh, you're so good looking. Hi. Hi, I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Definitely would say you're my type. Like that you're a yoga instructor Thank and everything you very too. Much. I wish you luck in that. I guess it was really just me biased off the off the nails, really, you know? Just a little too long, you know? Just a tad bit too long. Like in the, the chest from all you ladies. I like the tops. I like Tess and Four's top. Thank you. Really nice top, yeah. I like how there's like no straps on it. How the heck do you even put that on? You just put it like over your head. <laughs> oh, like a shirt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Test number one, strike your uh, bodybuilder pose. Oh, okay, you see. Haven't practiced this in a minute. Wellness act. <laughs> okay, I'm like trying not to like. Oh, I love your tattoo. That's a nice tattoo. <laughs> okay, the lat spread. Okay. Okay, <laughs> all right. The hips are looking great. The back look great. Got great proportions. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I try, no, no, I work no. hard. Of course, I can tell. <laughs> Contestant number four, strike your uh, wellness shot. Oh, we just did it. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like the alpha lead shorts. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was good. I like how she did the, uh, you know, pointed the, the butt out and everything with the <laughs> triceps. She has good arms. I like her arms. Thank you. Contestant number five, hit your wellness shot. This is my good side. And in my self, my Instagram stories, I always do this. Bones up here. Actually, usually my hand's up here too. So it's usually this. Gotcha. How tall are you, contestant number five? 5'11", how tall are you? I am 5'11", myself too. Oh. I'm okay with that. Usually the guys I've dated in the past are the same size as me. Okay. All right. Cool. The person I'm going to have to eliminate this round is probably going to be contestant number five. Oh. I guess maybe just the same height difference. Hi. Uh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm yeah. Corey. Corey, nice to meet you. Joe. Is he your type? No. <laughs> Do you want me to elaborate? It's she like, can elaborate. I'm... I just like a little darker, I think. Okay. But you do got blue eyes and tats. I feel like if I'm gonna go for a white guy, he has to look like he's straight out of prison. You're halfway there, so. Nice meeting yeah, you. Nice Good meeting luck you. with your ladies. I mean, she was gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But again, it's like the same with the first person I eliminated. I mean, just not their type, you know? It's all good though. You know, white guys matter too. <laughs> white guys matter too. I'm definitely ready to see the final two contestants. Hi. 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 Pretty. Yeah, both of you. Thank you. Thanks. He has really nice eyes. Yeah, I do like his eyes. And I like your ink. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. So we're going to do one-on-one -on -one speed dates. What's going to be our first exercise? Uh, shoulder press. Shoulder press. Okay. I can do bicep curls. Bicep curls. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and bring them over here right above your shoulders and then bring them up, but don't slam them together. Bring back down. Now, what head of the shoulder are you working on this mainly? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Four, oh, no, one five, one. and then I'll, I'll hold it, and then do five on this side, two. and then all the way to one. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. We'll see, because there's your front delt. How about you tell me? Your side delt okay. and your rear delt, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we're doing shoulder press, like how you were doing before, mm -hmm. what, do we, what do you think we're using more of when we're pressing it up? The front. The front delt. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you got it. <laughs> Okay, um, do you want to go ahead and try? Sure, yeah. yeah. Maybe you could give me some pointers. Okay. What's your favorite place to go get a cheat meal at? I'm a sucker for Five Guys. Five Guys? Yeah, oh, I, love, five I love their fries and I get their bacon cheese dog. Bacon cheese dog. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a mean good hot dog in a while. It depends on my mood, but like Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Same, In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A is actually my favorite. Okay, fire. Sometimes yeah. I go to In-N-Out. Sometimes I'll even go to Chick-fil-A afterwards. You could have yeah. Maybe, it just depends, you know? I think he was doing really good. good. Yeah, he might Any, be a little bit better than me, honestly. Any pointers? No? No, I think you're perfect. You think I'm perfect? <laughs> she thinks I'm perfect. <laughs> if I bring him more in, like this at okay. the top, I definitely feel like I get a little bit more of concentration in the front delt. You feel more of that concentration yeah. on your front delt? Definitely working more hard. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she can give me some pointers. How are we doing so far? Pretty good. Yeah. Is it right there? <laughs> oh yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think okay. you're good. <laughs> Does she look like a girl you'd usually talk to? She's definitely pretty. Like definitely when I'm in my set of dumbbell curls, definitely wanna add five, 10 more pounds if she's around, you know what I mean? So. Definitely made me blush, which is really hard. <laughs> Making her blush already. <laughs> get him out, get him out, get him out. I was kidding. Yeah, so I, I had a great date with you ladies, you know, got a lot of good pointers from the bicep thing and, you know, showed you a cool variation with the shoulder press and everything. Now it comes down to the hard part, the elimination round. Probably gonna have to eliminate you for the round. It's all good. Yeah, thank you so much for nice the, meeting Yeah, you. bicep variation. I'm starting adding that in my workouts. Oh, yeah, got for you. Sure. So, thank it's all you, good. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Could you see a date happening after this? Uh, yeah, I don't know what she's gonna say, but yeah, I could, I could see a date happening. I could definitely see a date happening. <laughs> Not the gym, no. More like Five Guys. I would love Five, five Guys. Five Guys, right? It's my cheat day today. I mean, tch, what? Are you going to Five Guys after this or what? We'll, we'll, be, we'll talk about we'll it. We'll talk about it? Okay, all right. I drove my best friend, that's why. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, then you're going to love this one. Go check that out. That was awesome. <laughs>